Hi, welcome down the shed. So tonight, in this particular video, I am recording on the Fujifilm A860 old school digital camera that I got for a quid on the car boot. I've got one coming from uh, AliExpress, which is probably even worse than this, and that costs 16 quid. So we're going to look at this wireless alarm set. So let's break into it. I should have got both of them. Like I said in one of the videos upcoming soon, shortly, should I actually be coming before this one. And that ain't going to work. Some instructions. But we'll look at those later. We'll look at those when we need them. I think that's a wall bracket. I'll hazard a guess. It says batteries included, but we'll see. Whether batteries included work, we'll see. So on the side we've got alarm and chime, so when anyone walks in it'll go bing bong or whatever, or actual alarm. There is a pull tab there. Designed to be warm out with operated using four digit user access code with the keypad on the front of the alarm. Two operated modes, alarm and chime. Chime mode is a low security feature that reduces store time and sound when the alarm is triggered. In the alarm, the device produces a longer, high volume alarm when triggered. Keypad tells you to set a personal four digit password for arm and disarming the alarm. Basically, every time you change the battery, you've got to reset the alarm, the uh, pin code. So to activate the alarm, first set the switch to alarm. Enter the four-digit user access password. The alarm will beep if each digit is entered. If it's wrong, it will beep and flash three times. The red light will immediately begin to flash, indicating a 30-second exit delay has started. Today that was time for you to leave the protected area without triggering the alarm. When motion is detected, the red light will flash, the alarm will activate after 10 seconds, the siren will sound for 30 seconds and that's disarmed. LED indicator keeps flashing the next 30 seconds. After 10 seconds, the alarm will check for motion. Enter the four digit access password for disarm. I think I've disarmed it. Well, I need to take the batteries out to change the code. I think anyone can guess one, two, three, four. What well, I said it to without realising. So I'm just wondering where to put it now. So it runs on three AAA batteries. Take them all out and give it a good 10 seconds just to discharge. So it's an Energizer brand, it's PIR, quite loud. Comes with a 
decent little wall bracket which I'm going to stick in one of these corners but I wanted to get the windows and the door obviously so I'll slide these batteries back in now remembering this is on the Fuji camera not on my usual Galaxy Note so now I choose a new number there we go and that's it So now I'll put that number in. Lights flash in to say it's going to arm. And then it goes off like Mary Hell. That's what I thought anyway. It waits for longer. There we go, that should be on now. There you go, it's worn in flat. It's going to carry on sensing for movement. Yeah, that's enough. So that's the uh, Energizer alarm. So I'll pause the video here, or stop the video here, and come back when I put it up in a corner somewhere. And that's it, now in situ. So up in the corner of the shed, so it's facing across the floor and both the windows, or all three windows, but once you can set it down. They are going to have a medieval style bar down behind them. The door's quite heavily uh, shielded from the other side, so that's the little alarm, I have to say. And uh, we'll give that a few moments and that'll go off. And there you have it. So I think you agree that probably should be heard by somebody somewhere. Should it continue to go off? It wouldn't take much to, um, it's a shed. You could stop it quite soon, but it's enough to cause a bit of disruption. So anyway, thanks. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.